When you take a look at a Pokemon's stats, if you have any experience in competitive, you'll be able to figure out an optimal moveset for it, or at least a fun one. For example, let's take a look at VGC 2017 Gyarados. This thing has a super solid 125 base attack stat, and an abysmal 60 base special attack stat, so we should pretty much be always building a physical attacking set. According to Picolytics, around this time people tended to run moves like Waterfall, Dragon Dance, and... Flamethrower? Wait, that, that can't be right, that's a special attack, it bounce off of pretty much any Pokemon coming from Gyarados. Hold on, here it says that even Alolan Muck would run Flamethrower this gen, and it's only got 65 base special attack, so what's going on here? Well, this is actually a great example of how the metagame of a Pokemon format affects popular movesets of Pokemon in a profound way. Let me explain. In Generation 7, fire coverage was crucial for winning a match. If you didn't have it, you were likely to get overwhelmed by steel types, as this gen had some doozies. Most notable of them was Kartana. This Pokemon challenged the idea of power creep by being a grass and steel type with 109 speed and a ridiculous 181 attack stat. On the physical side, it had some usable defense as it had 59 HP and 131 defense, but its Achilles heel was its faith challengingly low special defense stat. Coming off of 59 HP meant that 31 base special defense was effectively zero. Kartana thrived in this format despite this, running items like Focus Sash or Assault Vest to eat a special hit and revenge KO Pokemon like Tapu Fini, Tapu Bulu, Gigalith, Tapu Koko, well pretty much anything that didn't resist it. Due to its immense popularity and ability to snowball its attack stat with each KO via the ability Beast Boost, it was usually your number one priority to remove it from the field anytime you saw it. Physical coverage moves like Fire Punch from Muck were prone to getting cut in power by Intimidate or Burn, allowing Kartana to just barely survive them and still be a menace. So it became popular to squeeze a flamethrower onto Pokemon like Muck, Gyarados, or Celesteela. Granted, Celesteela would run it anyways to beat opposing Celesteela. Speaking of which, Celesteela was actually the primary reason Garchomp didn't run a special fire move. It was a very popular pick at the time which could have reasonably ran Flamethrower to beat Kartana, but it would typically opt for Fire Fang instead. This was because it allowed Garchomp to usually one-shot Kartanas while still being able to utilize its high physical attack stat plus Swords Dance to deal massive damage to Celesteelas, which is a Pokemon that would otherwise hardwall Garchomp. Don't get me wrong, there were plenty of decent fire types around at the time, but Kartana was so good that if your fire Pokemon got KO'd, you needed to make sure that you may be out of fire types, but you weren't out of options. Thank you to my Patreons for your continued support of the channel, all of you help me out more than you know. If you want to support the channel and see your name at the end of my videos, you can pledge as low as $1 a month on Patreon, and if you want two bonus videos each week, you can gain access to those for just $5 a month. If you can't support me that way, don't worry because a like and subscribe do more than enough. Thanks for watching.